Welcome to the channel, everyone. You can see I am knee deep in uh, rebuilding this old S10. And I just wanted to show you some parts that I got for this thing. So I actually got some of the MevoTech uh, TTX parts for this thing. I got lower ball joints and I got uh, wheel bearings. Uh, I was going to get upper ball joints as well, but I bought a whole control arm and it already had everything. But so far, guys, really impressed with this stuff. So I first heard the MevoTech name uh, way back when I was uh, messing with diesel pickups. Uh, they were making some parts for that. Um, I never did get any of the MevoTech stuff um, for the heavy duty pickups, but it looks like they've moved into just about everything, uh, even these uh, S10 pickups. Um, so the TTX, it says uh, terrain, tough, extreme. And according to, you know, how they rate these parts, these are premium, I mean, premium top of the line parts. Um, you do pay a little bit more for them, but I, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Um, you can see this is one of the ball joints. It is it's fully painted. It's not bare metal. Um, it's got a, a it looks like a really nice boot. So obviously it's greasable. It comes with a grease zerk. But look what else it comes with. It's got a little rubber boot that covers the grease fitting. It's just like those little things that you like seeing. Not only that, but before I put the, the, the grease dirk in there, there was a plug in the hole. There was a rubber plug in that hole so stuff didn't get inside there. It's, it's like they actually care, guys. Um, and then it, it comes with this normal stuff. You got bolts to bolt this in. It's got a little bit different castle nut than I've ever seen. And along with that, it's got a little bit different of a cotter pin than I've seen. So maybe this is a better way to do it. I don't know, I haven't installed it yet, but I do like that they're trying to be innovative, I guess. Um, that's like I said, like they actually care. Right down to the boxing. The boxing is, is they've got stuff separated in here and it's just not all just throw it in there. Again, like, like they actually care about their products they're sending out. So this is the wheel bearing, guys. And one thing I don't like is when companies do stuff like this. See, it says designed in Canada. And then you go over here, made in China. Okay. So don't get me wrong, guys. Um, you know, China, they can make good parts. They just have to be um, quality checked. You can get good parts in China. Um, like I said, there's just got to be there's just got to be a quality control in place. Um, again, super nice packaging. And check this out, guys. They have hardware. They send you the bolts to bolt this um, onto your knuckle. Not only that, they have a axle nut. They got a new axle nut, which you're supposed to do, but I've never gotten an axle nut with a wheel bearing, even on a, on a big heavy duty truck, which is so nice. These are actually, they're coated too, um, with some sort of paint, uh, which, which is nice, especially in the salt area like I am. And look at how they package them. So the threads don't get all damaged. They're in these little, uh, I don't even know what they are, but they're in this little plastic fishnet stuff. Also looks like they got some locking compound on the threads. It's really nice to see all this extra uh, in, the, in the package. Um, I, I've said over and over and over that I will pay a little more 
for stuff like this. This is what I want to see a company doing. Really, really impressed with these guys. Super happy with this. Um, the wheel bearing itself is just, um, it looks like a standard wheel bearing. Um, it does have the same, some type of coating on the, uh, stud, the wheel studs. So again, maybe not, you know, if you live in Texas, it doesn't matter. But when you live in Wisconsin and, and where it snows and they throw stuff all over the roads, having stuff coated is a big deal because it really helps slow down the corrosion process. But anyway, guys, I um, just wanted to show you these parts because I was like so impressed with these things. And probably uh, there's going to be a lot more Mevotex uh, TTX products. Uh, being bought from me uh, Like I said really really like what I'm seeing here Anyway guys, I just wanted to share my, my experience here getting some of these parts kind of show you what uh, What they send you and everything how they send it to you But um, yeah, I like them guys That's gonna do it for this one guys Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you